Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to teach you a variation on Three Card Monty, a very simple version that uses gaffed cards. And if you need gaffed cards, we have a free download that you'll be able to print out so you have all the cards that you need to perform the trick. So first, let's see what the trick looks like and then I'll show you how to do it. I have here three cards. I want you to try and remember the cards. You don't have to remember the suits necessarily, but we're going to remove one and let's see if you'll be able to remember which card it is. So do you have it? All right, excellent. I'm going to turn this around and now I'm going to remove one of the cards right here. Now, in fact, I'll make it easy for you. I'm actually going to show you the other two cards. Do you remember what this card is? If you said the queen, you're absolutely right. Now you can use regular playing cards for this trick um, as I am here. These are ordinary cards, but I found that a lot of people want to perform this trick, but they didn't want to cut a playing card and ruin a deck of cards in their house. So um, that's the reason why I have the printout. So what you're going to need to do is download the printout, which has faces of cards. And you'll notice there are two backgrounds for the cards. The first one is a full color one. So if you want to uh, go all out and have uh, nice colorful backs to your cards, you can download that one and print that on your color inkjet or laser printer. If you want to minimize the amount of toner that you're using and save on your toner or ink, print out the uh, kind of uh, simple grayscale back. Cut the cards out and then you're gonna have to glue the backs onto the faces of the card. Uh, keep in mind that um, the printouts won't allow you to uh, print on one side, print the other side of one sheet of paper. Uh, I wasn't able to quite get that to work. So you're going to have to cut out backs, cut out the fronts, and then glue them together to make a playing card. And it does help if you use heavier paper or even a light card stock so they resemble playing cards. Once you have your cards made, which they're, they're just ordinary cards at this point, you're going to take one of the number cards and cut it in half, as I did here. And you'll notice I have a piece of tape. So here's the setup. You're going to take one of your other number cards. Remember, you have one face card, which is different. And that one you definitely don't want to involve in the gimmicking. So take your half card, flip it over, and now the sticky side is down. Now I always tape it this way because here, let me show you. I'm just going to tape it on right now. And that means the tape is hidden under here. If you tape it right here, then people might notice the tape. And I've had kids tell me that that has happened. So you want to put the tape underneath and then you have this flap. And that half card flap is the secret to the trick. So to set up the trick with your flap and your cards, Take your face card, place it under the flap, and take your last card and place it in front. And that's the display right there. You show three cards, and I think you'd agree that looks quite innocent, quite normal. Now, you tell them it's three card Monty to remember the numbers, the suits don't matter, and then the three card Monty comes into play. Turn the cards over, now, uh, I just grab it and turn it over just like that. Now, you're going to pull out the middle card. Well, what spectators don't know is it's actually the queen that's right there in the middle. So you're going to pull this out. Now, you'll notice you already have the queen. You could end the trick there because you can ask them what's this card and they'll have no idea that it's the queen. But you'll notice that I turned these cards around in the demo. But you can't turn them over like this because there's that extra card there. So what I did in the, uh, in the demo part is I used my little finger here to push the card up and then I can show the two and then reveal the queen. So that's the first method for using the pinky. Second method, so we'll start the trick over here just for explanation, three cards remove the queen, which spectators don't know about. You take the other card and just push this card up and show it. 
And then at that point, you ask them what this card is, and then you show them that it's the queen, and you have a fantastic trick that you can perform for your family and friends. Gets a great reaction. Well, I hope you have fun performing this trick for your friends and family. Please give us a like and please subscribe for more magic lessons in the future. Also, please comment below if you have any questions or if you have any tricks that you would like us to teach in the future. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.